Now turn to section two. Section two. First, you have some time to look at questions eleven to fifteen. Now listen carefully to the short introductory talk, and answer questions eleven to fifteen. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Apsley House. My name's Henry James, and I'm the proprietor of this, I must say, wonderful old house. My staff and I will do all that we can to ensure that your stay here at Apsley House is both informative and relaxing. If you look at the schedule I've prepared, you will see that we have planned a number of different activities for you. But what I'd like to do today is to introduce the house to you. So let's first deal with the history of the house. Apsley House is known as one of the finest houses in England. It was originally designed and constructed by the Scottish-born architect Robert Adam between the years 1771 and 1778, and from day one was the office of the Duke of Wellington. Back then, it was a private house, but in 1987, it opened to the public for the first time. The Duke of Wellington was an avid collector of art, and if you look to the room to your left, can everyone see that? All right, yes, good. You will see a rather large art gallery. The viewing gallery is 90 feet long and houses a wide range of art from all over Europe. Until recently, the gallery was closed to the public, but I'm pleased to say that it is now open and you are free to visit any time you wish. If you take a look at the schedule, you will see that I'll be talking to you about the gallery tomorrow after breakfast. So if you're interested in art, please be here by nine o'clock for the talk. You now have some time to look at questions sixteen to twenty. Now listen to the rest of the short introductory talk, and answer questions sixteen to twenty. This room here to your right is the cafeteria. Breakfast is served from seven thirty to eight thirty a.m., although you can request breakfast in your room if you prefer. The dining hall serves a traditional English breakfast, although vegetarian food is available on request. Just let the kitchen staff know the previous evening. Outside, you will find a magnificent garden. A section of the garden was converted into a car park in 1990 to make way for the growing number of visitors. Nevertheless, much of it remains and is an ideal place for you to wander and enjoy the peace and quiet, or simply sit and read. There are a lot of animals in the garden, including birds, squirrels, rabbits. Oh, and not to forget Felix the cat. Now, don't be alarmed if the animals come up to you. They are used to people and very friendly. Anyway, dinner will be served at seven. So in the meantime, please feel free to simply wander and enjoy the hospitality Apsley House has to offer. That is the end of section two. You will now have half a minute to check your answers. <laughs> 